Find the limit as x approaches negative 3. So whenever you're computing limits, it's a really good idea to first take this number and try to plug it in for all of the x's. If you get an answer, then that's the actual answer. If you don't get an answer, then you have to try something else. So if you plug in negative 3, you would get negative 3 squared plus 3 times negative 3 over negative 3 squared minus negative 3 minus 12. So the part that's interesting is the bottom piece. Here you would get 9 plus 3 minus 12. So you get 12 minus 12, so you get 0. So this fails. So you can't have 0 on the bottom. So what you do is you try something else. So in this case, it looks like this might factor. Let's go ahead and try to factor it. So we have to rewrite the limit sign. So limit x approaches negative 3. And then we can try to factor it. I think in the numerator we can pull out an x. So x, parentheses, looks like x plus 3. And then on the bottom, this should factor. So it should look something like this. So we need two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1. So I'm thinking, I think negative 4 and plus 3. Yep, that works. And look at this. Hurrah! The x plus 3s cancel. So we get limit. x approaches negative 3 of x over x minus 4. And now we can go ahead and take the number and plug it in, and there's no division by 0. So when you plug in the number, that's when you stop writing the limit sign, okay? So now we're just going to put the negative 3 where all of the x's are. So it's negative 3 over negative 3 minus 4. So that's negative 3 over negative 7. That's just 3 over 7. And that's the limit. I hope that made sense.